TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for another edition of the show. And uh, so we're doing another white wine here. So got this because, uh, well, it looked kind of interesting and I'd never had it before. So, as most of the wines are. <laughs> so, so anyway, this is the 2008 Finca Antigua uh, Viera from, uh, this is from Spain. And uh, it got it at specs for $8.75. That is the... 5% off discounted price for paying with cash and or debit card. So, uh, a little rinse there from Monday's wine. All right, so, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so Viera is, um, this is 100% Viera, and it is uh, also known as Macabio in Spain. So it's one of the, one of the, Kind of well-known varietals from Spain, or used a lot. So let's check it out. It's, you know, fairly new vintage, 2008. So let's see what let's see what's going on. That's a very light nose. I got lots of bubbles in here. Lots of bubbles. I'm guess it's a little bit. It's a little bit fritzy. It's pleasant. It, it's it's not overpowering. Um, some light fruits, but nothing nothing really there. I'm trying to really just maybe a little bit of melon. I'm trying to really just aerate this because um, hopefully it will get get better. Very, very, very light. Uh, but I'm getting kind of some fruits, some light fruits, almost melon, melon type quality. So let's check it out. All right, so it's just like the nose, the palate. Very, very light. It's 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 not tasteless. Oh, that's a bad way to put it. It it's it it's not that it has no flavor. Maybe a little bit of apple. It's it's got like a kind of a generic fruit uh, flavor to it. Nothing that really jumps out as a particular thing. Um, it's pleasant. It's semi sweet. It's you know has a little bit of sweetness to it. But it's not really, it doesn't really linger. So it's real quick, you, you get a little bit of a, of a fruit, almost like a, a juicy fruit gum flavor. So it's, it's kind of sweet and it's got some fruit to it, but it, unlike juicy fruit gum, it's not really intense. Like it, it's, it's like a hint. It's like, you know, the, the gum is almost out of flavor and then you chew it a couple more times, and then just kind of like, uh, yeah, it's not much there. So, I mean, it's, I'm sure it'd be like refreshing on a summer day. Um, so I could see drinking it like that, but other than that, 
I don't think it's really a spectacular. I don't think it's really anything much. It's not really. Um, it's not knocking my socks off. That's for sure. It's because I don't have any socks on. <laughs> anyway, um, it's pleasant. I, I say eighty three. It's it's nothing. I don't know. It seems like it's getting better over time. But yeah, it, it's 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 it has a very little bit of sweetness, not much fruit involved. Um, I'm getting something else though now. It's on that when you breathe out. One of, the, one of the things you can do to help with your palate is as you drink something or as you spit it out, breathe out through your nose because that's where all of your actual receptors are for taste is in your nose, not really your your tongue. Your tongue just takes sensations. So sweet, bitter, sour, salt. You know that that it, it's sensations, not really taste. It's there's something in there that just made it a couple points better. So we're going to give it an 85. Just like Monday's wine, it was one of those where at the beginning it was kind of like, eh, you know, it's wine. But it got better over time. I, I'm giving it 85 just because there's that little hint that, that made it intriguing again. But it's still pretty thin. It's not, there's really almost, there's very little acid, if any, at all in the wine. Um, it's pretty thin. Um, I'm kind of being gracious, I guess, because I'm giving it, 80, gave it an 83. And then that, that little bit of oomph happened at the very end. So, yeah, we'll stick with 85. All right, so not much about this winery. Um, it was founded in 2003. It's between the provinces of uh, Quineca and Toledo in the La Mancha DO, which is, you know, like an AOC or DOCG from, you know, it's DO in Spain. Uh, let's see, fermented 31 days in stainless steel. Now here's something um, that that men just mentioned on the website. It says raised for five months on lees and then turned weekly, which, which is called batonage. Um, I don't know why they call it raised for five months. Usually, you, the term rested on you know it's it's rest it's on lees or rests on lees, uh, but for five months and lees is just the um, uh, the dead yeast cells that collect to the bottom, collect to the bottom of a barrel and what they do is they they'll 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 stir the leaves, they'll rotate the leaves. Uh, so they said that every week they turn them to kind of mix the leaves within the wine, and it's supposed to give it a little bit of extra flavor to it, and that's probably what I'm getting at the very end. But eighty five nonetheless. All right, so that's going to do it for today. Um, be sure to watch Friday. That's going to be there. There will be an episode on Friday. That'll be our Christmas special. I have three wines again. Um, this time of year, I'll have to do all these specials now. Then once once this time of year is over, I'll probably just go back to doing just one all the time. Maybe I'll do a three for Valentine's. Who knows? Um, I kind of like the three wine specials. They're kind of fun. But um, as always, you know, uh, get all the links here. Let everybody know. Hope the player's doing well. Uh, I'm doing everything in one day. So between now and next Monday when I do the next set of episodes, Hopefully things with Viddler will be will have improved. Um, but otherwise, you know the Blip TV player. Uh, I, I, I like it, but uh, I like the other player better. I'm gonna stop harping on that. Hopefully those guys at the at Viddler will will figure out why my stuff keeps getting screwed up, but nobody else's. All right, so um, that's gonna be it, and we'll see everybody again on Christmas.